once back in the day that when the earth is ravished and the animals are dying and the world is torn that a family of multiple creeds and colors will come from all angles of the earth to help salvage the world. Rainbow Festival, here we come. This is an ad hoc event of citizens and uh, we do things by consensus. We have a council, the permitted gathering by U.S. code and the uh, citizens that gather at the Rainbow Gathering for peace and healing. We do a, a prayer every year for peace. And the main circle starts out beautifully with a big ohm at the beginning. We make a circle around the main circle with our hands and we ohm and let our love our vibrations out. It's the largest ecumenical gathering, the one we have on the 4th of July, in the history of the country. The Pope will bring more people, Billy Graham will bring more people, but not the Baptists, the Catholics, the Hare Krishnas, the Buddhists, the Native Americans, the Pagans. And uh, you see Jesus camp prominently here, the Hare Krishnas are here today. Uh, a lot of local churches are coming. People that care and want to be involved in something and want to get out and immerse themselves into a positive feeling and get away from society in a form of Babylon, then there's 20% of felons. Or people that are out here that you gotta somewhat aren't all day and they look just like everyone else sometimes. And a smile can be deceiving and some kids really don't care. And those are the ones that you'll find in everyday life as well. We lost our stuff and the economy went bad. We met this family and this family really, really, really takes care of themselves and they take care of everybody else out here. And if you have nothing, we will give you what we have. And if you have something, then we would really like for you to participate in our blitz. Uh, we will feed you, we will clothe you, we will love you, we will get you high if you need to get high. We will get you drunk if you need to get drunk. We're honest in what we do. We just want everybody to know that we're not out to steal your stuff. We're not all bums. We're not all um, running around being lunatics. We are the people that have suffered. I am three months pregnant. <laughs> and, uh, I'm from St. Augustine, Florida, born and raised. I became uh, homeless about seven months ago, and I went to a homeless shelter, that's where I met my husband, and uh, lost my family, lost my daughter, I have a one and a half year old, and uh, I came to the Rainbow Gathering, it's been exciting, it's my first one, we like it, we're fixing to leave though, next week, we're going to Indiana to get a house, so we can have the baby, and we'll be back with the Rainbow Gathering as soon as the baby turns one though. Um, Another hippie child in the wood. That's right. <laughs> Beautiful. Tell a hippie that broke up with his girlfriend. Homeless hippie. How can you tell if a hippie stopped by your house? What? They're still there. <laughs> because I'm homeless, nobody wants to give me a job, even though I am well qualified for what I do. And because I can't get a job, I can't get a home. So it just perpetuates the entire cycle. Here to learn to love one another unconditionally and embrace one another. Oh and if we can accomplish that even with everybody's, you know, history and, you know, tragic past and all that, if we can learn, you know, to put the past behind and work to, uh, today, the present, to make a better future. Beyond the olive trees after you let your blood and body too. And I love the leper and I killed the king. Now I have a ghost and this is what she said. And if you have the intestinal fortitude to handle it, it's a life that some, <laughs> the richest of the world and many other people will never have, uh, have the ability to have, will never get the chance to do. I respect that because I'm an anarchist. Damn, there you go, man. <laughs> Individual government. Everyone governs themselves and they can work out. You see us out there and, and there's drug addicts here. There are recovering drug addicts here, which is even more beautiful. People come out here to get well. They come out here to get healthy. They come out here to feel 
like for once in their life, people love them and accept them. We are their family. That's what we call each other, family. And no matter whether you're black, white, Chinese, gay, uh, heroin addict, I don't care. I love you. Come home. We love you. Welcome to Rainbow Land.